Well, new tonight, more action in the wake of a turn to tariff probe that exposed some serious privacy concerns with Amazon's contactless delivery service. First, a state senator from Long Island announced some new legislation to fight the problem. Now, a candidate for Congress is taking the fight to Capitol Hill. News 12's Tara Rosenblum has the update for us. My first reaction was shock. But Nassau County legislator Joshua Lafazan says his shock quickly turned to outrage after watching our initial investigation into Amazon's key for business program last month. Residents who, who you know, pay to live in a building have a right to know who's in their building. And landlords have a right to know who's in the property that they own. And when that's not happening and when people are circumventing that, government needs to step up and hold people accountable. Back in February, we had highlighted several instances where the these devices that allows drivers to enter your building without being buzzed up was installed without the owner's permission. And after watching our coverage, the head of the state Senate Consumer Protection Committee took action, proposing a new state law to protect the millions of New Yorkers who live in apartment buildings. If someone were to walk into your house without uh, your permission, that's a criminal act, right? And having them do this is criminal. Now Lafazan, a candidate for Congress, wants to take the fight to Capitol Hill because he believes the privacy of millions of apartment dwellers are at risk, not only in New York, but across the country. His proposed federal bill would additionally leave Amazon on the hook for any damages incurred during unauthorized installations. Your investigation showed that these third-party contractors installing Amazon's keyless entry were costing buildings money. The cost of incompetence shouldn't be pushed on to the buildings and its residents. So I've written to my senator and my assembly member, and I'm asking my constituents to do the same. As for what Amazon has to say about all this, they admitted to us that mistakes were made and even fired one of the contractors who installed the device at a Yonkers condo building. But until there is a law in the books, there is nothing to legally stop this from happening again. I thank, you know, turn to Tara and I thank News 12 for you know, uncovering what was happening and government now has a responsibility to fix it. Tara Rosenblum, <laughs> News 12. If you've got a story you want to into, you can reach her at the email on your screen or you can head to our website, news12.com and click on the features tab. That's where you'll find the turn to Tara section.